a lot of fun stuff we gotta do before we can actually get into it. Jacking it up, putting it on jack stands, taking this wheel off so you can access the harmonic balancer bolt. Valve cover off, I already took that off and that's why I'm doing it because I took that off and looked under the timing cover and there is way too much slop for me to safely drive it. So that's why we're doing it. We will see what happens. So, the first little hitch I have, the alternator bolt, and you can't really see it because it's under the alternator, but so far it feels like it's cross-threaded. I mean, that's to be expected given that it's got 250,000 miles, but still, I figured that this would just be easy, but I guess we'll see how the rest of it goes. I got the bolt out, and that honestly doesn't look that bad. It's a little bit corroded, but really didn't look that bad. But either way, it's getting a new nut because I don't want to have to deal with that if I have to replace an alternator belt on the side of the road. The alternator is about ready to come off and power steering pump is off we'll see what we got next timing cover is off for the top now we can see the timing belt the next step is centering the timing and making sure that it's right on and then after that taking off the harmonic balancer yeah that's gonna be the fun bolt because that one is like 180 foot pounds torqued down and it's probably been on for like a decade that's gonna be a fun one now I confirmed that the timing is right and that is awesome I was really worried about the timing being off because there was probably about three quarters of an inch of slack in the timing belt and there definitely should not be that much well anyways this right here says up so that's got to be straight up in relation to the engine which is slightly tilted back and then there's two notches on either side that have to be lined up with the top flat plane of the head. That timing mark all the way down there. There is a line that it should be lined up with. Since it's lined up with that mark and the camshaft is lined up with that mark, that means the timing is good. It means probably not any valve damage at all. Was a little worried about that too, but now time to take off the biggest pain in the beans. Now I got the correct crank pulley holding tool. You get to see the fun of taking that hardcore bolt off. Oh boy. Well, I definitely dealt with worse, so I'll take that as a win. All right, now we get to see the goods of what's not so good about that. That keyway is not right because it should be fairly narrow like that one. There's a chunk of harmonic balancer somewhere. Good thing I got a new one. I have to say so far the most difficult thing about this job here is removing the timing cover and you can see the the wonderful glory that is all the oil covered goodness. And that is one thing you don't want on a timing belt is oil. It does not want to come out. I think I'm going to jack up the engine because I got to do that anyway to remove the engine mount to be able to get the timing belt around it. All right, now that I've gotten into it and really cleaned it up real well, there's a lot less oil in there than there used to be. But I have to order some parts, so I'm going to end up coming back to this probably next week. I might sound a little different next time. Finally back at it again for another day. I swear it's been months since I've touched this thing. Today I'm dealing with balance shaft seals. I mean Mark, my shaft is right there and it's supposed to be lined up there. But since the camshaft and the cylinders are at top dead center and that is not, that would explain why it shakes to all hell when it's not idling. Part of me wants to take out this engine and do it outside of the engine bay, but I don't think that's going to go over very well, because then it will be sitting in this garage longer than it already has. I have a Subaru to sit in the garage. I got another exciting video planned with that Subaru. There it is. The fabled 10 mil. I found it. I swear I've done Honda timing belts before, but never one with balance shafts. There we go. Simple, all right? Now, now. What? That doesn't really help very much other than help you see the bottom of it. Yeah, 
of this repair is going to be a whole lot of struggle bus. It doesn't flex, it cracks. Yep, that's a bad seal. Nice and clean and orange. Ah! Ah! That's not a good spot. Broken screwdriver. Oh, that's the ticket. Another very, very dry seal. Parts are breaking, so that means it needs to break parts cleaner, right? Because parts are breaking, right? Right? Ooh, an O-ring. I have no idea what that O-ring is for. This thing is gonna really hold in all the oil. What is good, I like that. I like it when a car is continent. Yeah. Here's, there's no o-ring there other than the uh, dipstick tube there. You gotta make sure to lube it up before you put it on the shaft. That's a good seal. I don't like how that fits. We'll use a little percussive maintenance. But while I'm in there, I may as well really send it home. Good enough. Take that lower timing gear off and replace that seal. <laughs> Yummy. That is Dr. Sprand. The heck and heck out of it with brake parts cleaner. Just a little gross. I think you're dying. I should probably plug you in. Oh well, hey, you're back. Well, I'm back. You're plugged in now. Now we got the wonderful gravy of taking off the French shaft timing gear, which, oh boy. Yes, a little bit rough. That's promising. I like how clean that comes out. Now I'm going to grab the crank shaft seal, and we're gonna match it up and just see if that looks like the right one. Cause I don't know for sure. Looks like that's the ticket. Okay. I feel like this one is going to be the hard one to take out. Pretty nifty tool. That is a very metal seal. Other seal I have is not the same. It is an open bat. I am not sure if this piece is supposed to come off. Yeah, I feel like if this was supposed to come off, it would definitely be easier to take off. Right, something out here that can tell me what time it is other than you telephone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the water pump off so that way the coolant that's inevitably left in there because there's always coolant left in there so that way that can drain out water pump. You're coming off. Ow. Yep, inevitable coolant that's still left in there. Ah, that is a bolt. And then there's another bolt right there. And coolant. There's always coolant. Never-ending coolant! Cool, yeah, that seal is bad. There we go! Hope that's mostly getting into the drain pan. Kinda looks like it, but it's probably not. No, not really. Eww. Eww. That gasket is completely flat. It should not be. Well, good thing it's getting replaced then, huh? Wow. Note to self, don't aggressively grab a metal cleaning brush. I wonder if my neighbor is getting irritated that his lawnmower keeps dying. Oh, he yeah, died again. And yeah, started. And died again. And started. I'm out of the cleaning juice. And died again. And it started. And died again. But it started. And died again. 
Did he give up? I wonder if he gave up. Maybe he's done. Something tells me this whole engine is dirty. Like that's bad. I don't know if I caught it in the first video because I did it like two months ago. The valve cover gasket was completely pinched, like blown out on two parts on the back side and pinched against the head. So it was not holding in oil in a couple of parts. It doesn't work very well. At least keeping oil in. Yeah, I need to give up on it. Oh, that's Harley. <laughs> Like, wait a second, that lawnmower sounds a little different. Oh, started it again. You're gonna die. And it started. You're gonna die. And it started. And it died. And it started. And it died. Maybe he's giving up on it. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Not started again. I think you ran something over. And it died. And it started. And it died again. And it started. Oh, excuse me. How very unladylike of me. Alright, now I'm gonna clean off the mating surface. Not that kind of mating surface, that's in the bedroom. And it died. Had a good run that time. And fired it back up. And died. And fired it up. I don't even know if I want to keep going with that at this point. Now it's just kind of getting sad. I will see you the next day I work on it.